What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net, and we're going to set up Adobe After Effects. And as you can tell, we're dealing with alpha channels. And so what we got here is that we've got a little project here. So just opens up, reveals a transparency background. And so uh, this is just a sample. And uh, we've got our two outputs. So let's go ahead and right there. And if you look, we've got our transparency. This is an AVI file. And then we've got our transparency on that one as well. However, there is a difference between the two. And uh, one of them is 561 megabytes. The other one is 442 KB. Both of them are transparent. That's in, you can see right through them. Um, the question came in from Francisco. I uh, cannot pronounce his last name, but he asked right here, any suggestions to export intros to RGA Alpha channel without creating really big files? Now see, I've got one that I use for my intros, and that one is 1.5 gigs, and it's less than 10 seconds long. This right here is going to come in awfully handy for me because I just found this. This right here, the uh, small file that we've got right here is using a codec that we've got here, and it's called Lagrith Lossless Video Codec. And so uh, the link is going to be in the description. This is only for Windows. I have not found it to work with Mac. So uh, I'm sorry, all you Mac users. Uh, you're going to have to look elsewhere. I cannot assist. So let's come over here, and uh, let's go ahead, and we're going to create two uh, render queues here. Over here, oops, add that around the queue. Now gonna, the first one we're going to choose, we're going to leave it AVI, RGB, Alpha, click OK. And then we're going to name this AVI, uh, RGB, Alpha. Click OK. Now the next one we're going to choose, leave AVI, so this is the RGB, Alpha. Come over here on our none, we're going to drop it down to Lagrith Lossless Codec. Codec settings, make sure it's set for RGBA, click OK, come down here, click OK, and click OK again. Let's rename our file to L-A-G-A-R-I-T-H. Okay, so now we got our two files, so let's go ahead and create them. And there's this one right here, which is going to end up being the same size as this one, because it's the same file. Okay, so we got uh, five and a half gigs. I'm sorry, <laughs> 561 megabytes. And then this one right here is going to be 442 KB. Okay, so now whenever we bring these two into our project, let's grab a hold of both of these, drag them over here. And then let's just drag them into our comp, cut off both of them eyes as well as that one and as you can see we have our transparency on that one as well as on that one oops yep that one too so which one do you want to use people do you want to use the one for humongous files or the one for small files check out the link in the description for the lagrith lossless video codec and i strongly suggest that we all make a donation to this guy uh, for creating this awesome, great product. All right, Wayne Baron here with darkeffects.net. And thank you, Francisco, whatever your last name is, dude, for bringing up this question for me because I forgot all about it. All right, y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.